Hello and welcome to this video on dual right product category sync. My name is Neil Ridd and I'm going to take you through the steps you're going to need to resolve issues with product category sync within dual right. So hopefully you'll find this useful and you'll be able to overcome those error messages. So here I am in my FNO environment. And I'm going to go first to my data management workspace. So I'm just going to go to my recents. And in here I'm going to open my dual right tile. Now, anybody who's watched the video of my setup and configuration and or is trying to synchronize uh, existing product categories will potentially have walked into this issue. Now, the issue is that product categories currently cannot be uh, synced using initial sync. Uh, the reality is you get a number of errors. And what, it, what has to happen is you have to manually sync this a piece of data. So uh, product category hierarchies and uh, hierarchy roles are absolutely fine. But as soon as we get to product categories, and I'll go into my initial sync details here, you'll find you'll start getting a number of errors even when you try to rerun. The, re the main reason for this is the fact that when the sync happens, the levels in that uh, hierarchy are not understood. So level three might be attempted to be written before level one is there. Unfortunately, the entity uh, does not allow the understanding of the level field that is part of the general data structure. Otherwise, we could probably sort this problem. So what do we do to solve it? Well, the reality is you must skip initial sync for this entity. Once you have done that, you must manually update all of the records. So uh, that could be a quite a big task, depending on your data. So what we're going to do, we're going to go through that process. So I'm going to switch to my Power Apps environment at the moment. And in my environment, my dual right demo environment, and I've just gone on to data and entities. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that there's no information, and then we're going to try it. So remember to go to All for this and then search for category and you can see here I have product categories in my list so I'm going to open this up and I'm going to push the data option here now you'll see I've got three records this is from my earlier testing to make sure it was working for this demo go to uh, select all fields just because it's going to be a bit easier to see the data that's moving so what do we do now well we go back to our FNO environment now click at the top route um, and you'll be taken back to the data management workspace. Personally I feel this is a bit of a bug because you're always taken here when you try to leave that uh, form. But now I'm going to go off to my product information management and I'm going to go across to setup to categories and attributes and category hierarchies. Now when I'm in here I'm going to focus in on this retail product category here. Now remember I don't have to change companies I'm still in DAP because the reality is that this is universal. I'm then going to choose the edit button. Now from uh, the previous menu we saw that we had all fashion and women's wear because I think that so far. So let's work on team sports instead. So at the moment we have the all and I want to sync team sports. Now team sports has a series of nodes underneath it. It's got quite a lot of levels. I must sync each one of those levels individually. So for team sports, I'm going to enter a value. I'm just going to put zero in the code and hit save. As you can see, the modifier has now changed to me. I'm then going to take that value out because it's obviously erroneous and I've just done it to actually trigger the movement of the data. So I'll go over to Power Apps now and I will refresh. As you can see here, I now have my node of team sports. So basically I go back now and I choose the next one, basketball. Once again, hit the save, make the update, take out the data, make the save, come back, refresh the data, and there's basketball. There currently is no way to shortcut this, so basically you must continue this process until it is all completed. So there we are. Thank you for watching. Remember, manual action is required to synchronize product categories and follow your hierarchy structure when you do this. This is one of the uh, videos in a series of dual right videos that I'm making. So feel free to subscribe, but also have a look at any other videos that may help you on your journey.